the sweetest story that's ever been told lies in the slim circle of gold. Joining two people as husband and wife to share in the joys and sorrows of life. For richer or poorer in sickness and health, your marriage can yield upon a wonderful wealth. memories to treasure and hopes to renew, all part of promises made by you two. <laughs> With faith in each other and love as your guide, as long as forever you'll walk side by side. Oh, and the shining reminder of how much you care will lie in the little gold band that you wear. begin with a little story that will explain how you all come to be here today. <laughs> it began on the 21st of May last year. I was, I was fitting some lights up for a customer when my phone pinged indicating a message and was surprised to see it's from Gareth. I rarely receive texts from Gareth so I thought I'd better read it sooner than later just in case it was serious. It was. <laughs> it read, not your average Monday afternoon text. Been thinking about this for the last few months. I would like your blessing to ask your daughter to marry me. I thought to myself, asking me my blessing, that's very old fashioned, but delivered in a very modern way. She don't look too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Katie, I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage and as a token of our love. I promise to care for you, to remain true to you, and above all, to love and respect you always. Gareth, I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage and as a token of our love. I promise to care for you, to remain true to you, and above all, to love and respect you always. And so it gives me great pleasure to now formally pronounce that you are lawfully joined together 
as husband and wife. Gareth, you had a practice run. Yeah. Are you going to seal the deal properly <laughs> now? I'll, with I'll it? try my best. <laughs> When I first met Gareth, he was nervous and very polite, as one would expect on the first meeting. But by visit number three, I'd lost my favourite seat on the sofa. <laughs> Control of the TV remote. I also gained unwanted knowledge of Leicester City Football Club. <laughs> and any tubes of Pringles rapidly disappeared from the kitchen cupboard. <laughs> But seriously, he's a good lad, and a credit to Dave and Julie, and I'm very happy at what's happening here today. He's also a very lucky man to have Katie come into his life. She first came into my life in the early hours of October the 4th, 1988. In fact, get me up in the early hours became a trend. I think it must have been her overactive brain that eventually earned her a 2 one degree in forensic science at Leicester de Montfort University, where she met Gareth. Then after me chasing her for a while, I finally convinced her on a date to a really extravagant restaurant in Leicester, Nando's. <laughs> you have made mine and Ralph's life complete, and you look after both of us. Uh, without you, I don't know where we'd be. Got in brackets, probably starving. <laughs> I think we're a perfect team and bring out both each other's strengths and weaknesses, which has allowed us to get to where we are today. We've now had fantastic nine years together. And it's gone so fast. We've made many memories and hopefully from now on we can make many more. Hi everyone, I'm James. And I've got the honour <laughs> of being Gaz's best man today. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet because I'd hate to feed Gaz's ego. I've actually um, I've left a bit of space here to say something nice and sincere about Gaz. So. Oh. But then you didn't fill it in. <laughs> <laughs> Right, um, no. Has anybody else got anything? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, according to all the available advice on the internet, I am supposed to give the happy cut or some advice about married life. Well, I'm not. <laughs> I think that's something you find out as you go along. So you're now in your second house and your first dog. Not much I can advise you on there. There's only one more thing left to do and I can't advise you on that either. <laughs> I can't believe that I'm now married to a caring, intelligent, beautiful woman and I promise to do my best for you for the rest of my life. <laughs>